Nick Spencer committed suicide by hanging at his $2.5 million mansion. The vice president of British Petroleum hanged himself at his 2 million hero home a week after he was made redundant, a corona head today. Newly married Nick Spencer, 61, was found dead at his luxury home where he lived with his wife Eve in Buckinghamshire in April. His inquest head, he spent a decade working for the oil giant BP when he was forced to leave the firm on March 31 this year. After he was told of the redundancy, the successful father of two became depressed and worried about managing his finances, Eve told the coroner. In a statement, she said, since he was made redundant, he had been depressed. He had been looking for a new job and I felt he seemed positive, but there was an oil crisis because of COVID-19 and he was worried about the remortigation, the house and the finances. In the period leading up to his death, it seemed a bit more down and it was the 12th anniversary of a family bereavement. On the evening before his death, we watched the news and went to bed. We talked about TV and he came to bed at 2 a.m., which was unusually late. At 6.40 a.m. on April 7, he got up. He was normally an early riser and I went back to sleep. I later went into the study and saw the letters he had written. I opened the one addressed to me and called the police. I was very worried. The first police officer to arrive at home in Bincon's field box discovered Mr. Spencer hanged the house garage. Eve identified the body as a husband at 10.30 a.m. Pathologist Dr. Stephen Corrigan confirmed the cause of death as hanging. After graduating from Harvard Business School in 1999, Mr. Spencer became a general manager at European Refining, directing three refineries across Europe. He went on to work at Conoco Phillips for the next seven years, tasked with establishing the business in the MENA region. In October 2009, he joined British Petroleum as a business unit leader, working for the next five years at the largest refinery in the U.S. Following his huge success, he was selected as Vice President of Global Refining in November 2014, where he led 7,500 employees with a gross margin of $6 billion.